Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today I'm sharing a few of my findings, some of my research and some of my concern about the electromagnetic radiation and its biological effects or its effects on our, our body, on all living beings really. I have been researching it and there is of course concern about it. It's a <clears throat> polarized subject. Um, I'm gonna try to stay neutral on it, but I will include below quite a bit of um, videos and studies and research. So take your time and go through the videos, through the research and decide for yourself um, uh, as far as what course of action you should take. I do um, feel I'm a little bit uh, sensitive to electromagnetic frequencies and I think most people are, but with the 5G technology coming in now, it is spreading around the world, <clears throat> it started in Wuhan, China and it's now in many places in America and many places in Europe and in China. I think we are, a lot of us, it's gonna be beyond sensitivity, it will just affect us deeply, so I think there is actions to be taken to protect ourselves and to inform ourselves. Um, there is a few different things that we can do from my research to protect ourselves. I'll uh, speak about this device, which I've put a bunch of time in um, uh, understanding, researching. Uh, and I'll start with um, uh, the simplest thing is, I think in the plant kingdom, there will be plants that will uh, turn out to be very protective. Rosemary has uh, um, protective effects from electromagnetic frequencies. So that is a plant that we should begin using. Shungite, I will include a video of how Shungite can negate the effects of microwaves. This device that I'm wearing, most of the research comes from Russian scientists, so there is so much um, studies and peer review studies on it. And let's not forget that Russia outlawed microwaves, so they're serious about it. Um, the company uh, for this device is Aries Tech, and they offer holograms, their devices that are holograms that can turn non coherent resonance into coherent. So no coherent waves into coherent waves. Um, all biological um, systems, all natural occurring um, living organisms, they uh, arrange themselves in fractals. Because on a spiritual level, it's basically allowing us to have the most access to prana. On a physical level, it is allowing us to, for example, a plant, that the structure uh, of the plant is in fractals, it allows us to absorb the most amount of or the right amount of light and water and energy and nutrients, etc. So it keeps it alive. So when we are bombarded by non coherent waves, it rearranges our own um, cellular structure, it affects us on cellular level and it can affect our energy levels. It can um, give us headaches and our mental processes can be affected. Um, it's um, You can read the range of symptoms is wide. You can go on uh, DuckDuckGo and you can type uh, 5G symptoms. And uh, it's it's quite 5G um, exposure symptoms or radiation symptoms and you see a lot. So the things we can do as I said the simplest rosemary shungite is a mineral that is found in Russia only and it can take down uh, quite a bit of it. It's on the back of my phone, it's on the back of my computer. Um, another thing we can use to cover up routers is uh, copper mesh. Um, it's also known as Faraday mesh or Faraday cage. In the cage, basically, it's uh, it's something that you drape over your bed, and it stops all radiation. We can't sit in a cage though, so you can only use it in certain ways in order to uh, lower the effects, say, of your uh, router or in a place where you sleep. It's quite expensive uh, though uh, for that amount of copper mesh. It's called Faraday. So I'll link everything below, including a lot of videos. Take your time with the research and 
um, oh, uh, you can also place your devices uh, in a bag that stops people from coming and grabbing your information from your phone, but it also protects you from your phone. So those are good just for your phone, but as far as things coming now in waves from outside, we are better off having something on ourselves. And you know what, I'm going to include also a link. One of you shared with me the most beautiful documentary, William Reich. I've been aware of him, but I never saw the documentary before. I highly recommend it. 40 minutes, well done, beautiful. I'll include it below and he created organ. So <clears throat> organ is a certain arrangement of metals in a certain way that can transform waves as well. And you can make it yourself or purchase it. This is a similar idea. So the Aries uh, Shield Pro, they contacted me months ago and I looked through all the research and I said I want to try it to them so they sent it to me. So I just became an affiliate with them. I will post my affiliate link but feel free if you're not good with affiliate links you can just go to their website and research it for yourself. This is something that is very exciting and that's the reason why I went with this. It is the Aries Shield Pro. So basically there is two that we're using. One is the Aries Shield Pro which is something that you just put on your device, on your computer, tablet, laptop, etc. And the other is Aries Defender Pro, which is this one. And it is a beautiful hologram. What it does is um, it can transform non-coherent waves into coherent waves. Of course, the best thing you can do is just not be exposed to uh, those waves, but because oftentimes we don't have a choice, where we live, where we travel, where we go to work, um, in airports and hospitals. Uh, we have to just look for all the ways in which we can protect ourselves. So um, all systems uh, arrange themselves, natural living organisms arrange themselves in a fractal structure. Uh, think about um, all the plants and leaves and flowers and that um, that beautiful um, broccoli flower, I think it's called, the one that has that beautiful fractal structure, because that really allows us to absorb the most amount of prana, or on a more physical level, to just absorb energy and light and water in, uh, in a way that keeps us healthy. So our structures are affected from the incoherent waves, that non-coherent uh, frequencies that are emitted by all the electromagnetic devices, cell phone towers and microwaves and so forth. So we have to find ways to ground ourselves and create protection. From my research, I've shared with you the things that I find to be effective. It is. Um, just to summarize it, it is uh, Shungite, it is Aries tech, which is a more techy, more heavily researched thing with a lot of data on it. Um, it is certain uh, bags. This is Mission Darkness and it is well rated. It is not foolproof and it's not going to protect you from the outside um, radiation, but it will protect you from your phone. Um, it is, as I said, rosemary and copper meshes, but, and this is something you can carry on to, on yourself. So I'll tell you, uh, in summary, um, in summary, I'll tell you the mechanism with which uh, it works. The proposed method for protecting biological objects from technogenic EM radiation contributes to a reduction or elimination of the negative influence of technologic EM radiation. Um, on the biological object, especially with the spread of 5G communication systems. This method makes it possible to protect the biological object from the negative influence of broadband EM radiation. So typically almost uh, all biological objects widely represented in nature tend to form corresponding, corresponding fractal structures by multiplying the self similar structural elements that form their basis. So that's what the, the idea that they have taken. They are creating, um, they are multiplying a basic structure until it becomes a very complex uh, hologram basically. And that is just a drawing of it because I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's very beautiful. Um, and Johnny, I gotta show you, Johnny has it on his phone. It is the other one. 
let me get him so he can show you his phone quite a beautiful piece of science in an artistic way just because um, they're using the fractal structure of nature you can um, the website when you go to the website if you go on how it works um, it has a quite a bit of research and uh, information scientific information on there and Johnny will show you his phone because he has uh, he has shungite on it and the Aries uh, shield pro both and you can see how beautiful it is and what I'm not, I'm not as paranoid keeping it in my back pocket now because I've never keep it in my pocket before you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't keep it in your pocket. Yeah, we shouldn't really carry our phones very close to us, but the truth is that we do. And um, you can also get a meter. They're a little bit expensive, but you can get a meter that uh, measures it in case you're uh, not sure about maybe your bed is affected or your desk is affected. So you could get a meter. It is on my list of things to get. So basically, the main idea is that it takes uh, incoherent, non-coherent waves and it turns, turns them into coherent when they are uh, they meet the the structure of um, the hologram. And the method for protecting biological objects from the negative influence of um, technogenic EM radiation in a wide range of frequency, which includes creating around a biological object or between it and the source of technogenic EM radiation, a special EM field in the form of a fractal coherent matrix. So this is what it is. It's a fractal coherent matrix or a hologram using a fractal matrix coherent transformer to create the field. The resonator structural lattice is a Fourier transformer that harmonizes the amplitudes phases, frequencies, and polarization vectors of external technological radiation and um, the biologic objects inherent EM radiation. The coherent field that forms around the resonator resonates with the surrounding EM waves, including with the inherent radiation of the human body's biological cells, transforming it into a consistent form and makes the interaction conflict-free. So it has to be conflict-free interaction. Um, do read quite a bit of the website. It's very interesting. You can look at the peer review studies as well. Basically, the whole point is to eliminate conflict of the waves with the human body and this can help. Anything that we do can help. I think the main thing is to not be in a place that is very um, heavy in electromagnetic radiation, but sometimes we don't have a choice because the world is changing rapidly. It has been changing rapidly, but now the change will be that much bigger. And we don't know what the effects will be in all the viruses that we'll see in the future because with our immune systems being down and also the effects of radiation do have flu-like symptoms. So we're gonna probably see a lot more sickness and disease. And I think with the situation being as heavy as it is now, we do have to search for sol for solutions. If you have solutions, post them below. Those are just those are. This is the patching uh, to counteract some of the effects. But there has to be a bigger solution to the problem. Um, my finding so far is something as intricate as this something as intricate as this because the structure of this is amazing oh, also i will do a video again on uh, c60 as well because it's derived from shungite and it can have protective effects as well the structure of this so look into c60 um, those cases and things can help but that is just from our device we're dealing with something bigger nowadays uh, Faraday cages. I don't have one. I do want one. Uh, maybe I'll get one. Or Faraday covers. I'll get one for the uh, router. It's been on my list. So um, I'm quite concerned about what the future of humanity will be very soon with everything that's happening. And keep sharing. I will list quite a 
few videos below so go through them watch them study them link other videos below i know we're all full of uh, very good information i've been the last few days that whole virus situation brought about people that are on the same wavelengths connecting and writing messages to each other and exchanging information and videos and resources so my mind has been expanding exponentially really because of all the information that is coming from really good sources really light sources um do i want to say anything else i think that's it i will uh, the company is offering um uh, a dairy estate company is offering um a 10 percent off with uh I think the code is Alika Menova, so feel free to use it. I will get a little bit of kickback if you do, but if you don't, that's fine. I'm not really making the video for that. Usually, I've been affiliate with two, three things in my life, and the kickback is not a reason enough to make a video. It's more about the product. I could have been an affiliate with 100 to 200 things, but I'm not, <laughs> so I'm choosing. I, um, I do want to come from a place of service and consciousness um, and my main uh, obviously uh, work is my website those things are just things that are um, important to me on a personal level this is not on a um, career level or on a work level it's more on a personal level oftentimes i don't share things on personal level uh, but I know that a lot of us are affected by this situation. I do feel it when I'm in Sofia. There is a cell phone tower uh, really in close proximity to where I stay. And they're visible from each and every side um, of the building. And I literally am not the same person there. Um, it's very hard. It's, the immune system is uh, affected. The mind, the fuzziness, the cloudiness of the thoughts. And when you go in nature, they, there is a level of clarity that is just indescribable. So, post below whatever you can share on the subject. And I will post links to everything that I mentioned. Um, I will post links to uh, other devices as well. I'm not, uh, I, I'm researching as much as I can from each and every angle. So let's continue learning and let's let's raise our consciousness so we can counteract um the darkness in this world and become the light and curious and torches of light we can spread the light i believe and we can get through this and we can really really be a powerful new humanity because our consciousness is rising it is an undeniable fact coming from all the spiritual masters and uh, from all the Indian gurus uh, that uh, have spoken about Kali Yuga and we will um, have to go through some calamities and some difficulties in order to come out on the other side so getting our spiritual um, bodies in tune with the higher truth and staying in a place of continuous prayer and connection to truth will really allow us to go through this process in a way that can take us to the other side with less suffering and can allow us to really awaken to a new world because truly the old world right now is crumbling down the illusions in which we have lived are, are really uh, peeling off like onion layers veil by veil and we're we're really realizing the illusions in which we have which we have called reality we've lived in, we've lived an illusion in so many ways and things are going to start revealing themselves which is a beautiful and a painful process so let's stay spiritually tuned in be spiritual warriors be light be love and i'll see you with a yoga class namaste